Hey, what's up everyone? You know, it occurred to me that I have never ranked all of the hockey masks in the Friday the 13th franchise. I've actually never even thought to do that. Um, I have my favorite masks from the franchise, but I've never really sat down and thought about what order I'd put them all in from favorite to least favorite or least favorite to most favorite. Now, of course, this is completely subjective and completely superficial, but let me know in the comments if you agree with my ranking or if you disagree with it and what your rank of all the masks would be. I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. Let's just get to it. All right, coming in dead last on my list, number 11 is Uber Jason, that Uber Jason mask. I'm just not a fan. I'm not big on the whole space age stuff to begin with and seeing Jason convert into some kind of space form, whatever he was supposed to be, uh, I just am not a fan of it, didn't like it. And it just doesn't look anything like what we had known Jason to be. And so it was just a little too jarring for me, gotta be honest. Which leads me to number 10, which is related to number 11, the Jason X mask before he turns into Uber Jason. I'm just not a fan of this mask. I do like the weathering and the wear and tear on it. I love the gash in the forehead, looks nice and gritty, but the nose, the nose and the profile of the mask just kills me. This is basically like the Michael Jackson of Jason masks and I'm just not not a big fan of it. All right, number nine, which is kind of surprising to me. I thought I was gonna put part four up much higher on my list, but as I sat there and really thought it out, I'm not the biggest fan of the part four mask. I do love the blood on the ax mark. I love the wear and tear. I love the chevrons being worn off, but it's just not one of my favorites among all the masks. Number eight, I almost put this in the number nine slot, but I love the mask in Jason Goes to Hell. I just don't like this silly putty deformed molded head of Jason sucking in the mask and basically like eating up the mask. That, that just kills it for me altogether. It doesn't help that this is by far my least favorite film in the franchise. I can't even make it through this movie because I'm just so annoyed by it. No offense if you're a big fan of it. Like I said, the mask is cool, especially at the end. Some of you debate me on this, but there's a gash in his eye and you can only see it for a split second in the movie. But when I made my Jason Goes to Hell mask and I put that gash next to the eye, there have been so many comments on people saying that, that damage isn't there, it's not there in the movie. And it is, look closely, it's there. And when the mask has that, I love the way the mask looks with that damage, it looks very, very cool. Uh, but again, just the way they made Jason so blobby around it, I don't know, it took away from the mask for me. What can you do? Coming in at number seven, I love the part six mask. I like the single chevron on the forehead. Um, it's pretty clean mask, there's not a whole lot going on with it, a little bit of weathering and just an ax mark. And I do like it later in the film when there's a bullet hole in it. You know, something that always kind of bugged me about the franchise is that there's rarely any guns used on Jason and bullet holes in the mask could be a very cool addition to the damage. So I love that in part six, we get to see an actual bullet hole in the mask. And one of the reasons this mask is kind of lower mid-level on my list is that I've kind of only recently come around to the part six film. Uh, before I really didn't think much of it, but the more and more I watch it now, the more I love part six. All right, so from part six to number six on the list, I'm going with the part three mask. This is the OG. This is the first hockey mask that we see. Um, I would have put it higher, but there's just a few other masks that I like better than this one, but I do love this one. I love the chevrons, I love the damage on it, I love the wear and tear, and I love that yellowish color that it has. It's just a very cool mask, it's the trendsetter, it's the one that got it all started, so how can you go wrong with that? All right, with a little bit of irony, my number five is part five. Yes, I'm including Roy, this is rank of the masks, not necessarily the masks that Jason was wearing, so don't get started on me in the comments. I love the blue chevrons on the mask, what can I say? There's not much more about it other than that. Uh, but this mask is also more of a white mask. It doesn't have the yellowish color. It also doesn't have the snaps on the bottom of the mask. It's just smooth. I don't know, it's a really good look and it's just a shame that Jason didn't actually wear this mask. All right, number four, we're going with Freddy versus Jason, which is surprising because I'm not a big fan of this movie itself, but the mask with the Freddy claw marks on it is awesome. Very, very cool. But the thing about Freddy vs. Jason is that Jason's mask changes like four or five times throughout the movie. I mean, it goes from clean to scratched up to clean again to scratched up and to battle damaged. I mean, it's all over the place, but definitely the Jason mask with the Freddy damage on it looks very, very cool and I love it. And I love that you have two of the most iconic horror movie characters mixed into one mask right there. I mean, you immediately look at that Jason mask and know who did that damage on it. That is awesome. All right, number three on my list is the part seven mask. I love the damage on this thing. I love the missing jaw. It looks so cool. Uh, the chevron with the wavy edges on it and the ax mark and the warp nature of the mask. This thing just looks awesome. It's a very cool mask with just a whole lot of character and a whole lot of story in it. Number two, my second favorite, and it was so hard to put this at number two and not number one because there is something about Jason Takes Manhattan, part eight, that I just love. Even though 
I hate the fact that he's not at Crystal Lake, that they took him up to New York. Uh, it was weird at first. You know, honestly, the more I think about it, I think they aired this one the most on TV or something when I was a kid. I think this is the installment that I saw most often when I was a kid, so that's why it was so much more ingrained in me and why I became such a big fan of this movie. But the mask is cool. The yellow color of it, that greenish yellow nasty color, those super thin chevrons, just how wide the mask is. And I think what really sold it for me too is how wet the mask is throughout the movie. If you've watched any of my mask videos, you know I, I'm all about that heavy shine at the end. I love putting some shiny gloss finish on these masks. And so maybe that's where it comes from too, is that in part eight, that mask was just always wet and shining and just looking really cool. So I'm a big fan of the part eight mask. And finally, my number one, which makes sense because if you know anything about my channel, you know that the first mask I ever made for myself and the first video I ever posted of me making a mask on this channel was the 2009 remake mask. This thing just looks awesome to me. I love that it has more of a wraparound to it. The uh, wear and tear, the weathering and stuff on it, on the chevrons, the dirt, the grime, the thing just looks so cool. The only thing, the only thing that's a drawback on it is that there's no ax mark, there's no real battle damage on it, if you will. That's the only thing that would take this mask above and beyond for me, is just to have some kind of damage on it. But regardless, the thing just looks really cool. It looks very menacing, very scary. And so it's taking my number one spot. All right, guys, I know I didn't get too deep or overly critical on you. Like I said, this is completely superficial, completely subjective, completely based on when I look at that mask, do I think it's cool or not? Do you agree with my rankings? Do you disagree? Please tell me in the comments how you would rank all of these masks. I'd love to know how our lists compare to each other. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please click on this playlist right here. You can check out all of my mask videos and please click that like button on any of the videos you enjoy or just watch whatever YouTube is recommended for you right here. Hope everything is great in your world. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.